Donna Colt has had her dog sport for 10 years now. He is a certified therapy dog and has been for five years. Donna decided she wanted to brighten people's days, especially the ones that are less fortunate than her. So she took sport to get tested by Therapy Dogs International. Something she believes is that a therapy dog is not made, it is born. By saying this, she means that a dog must be born with the characteristics that are acquired in a therapy dog. Sport is a loving Dalmatian that is trained very well in obedience. Donna herself trained him, and they are a perfect pair. Both Sport and Donna love their visits to the hospital and are very close. I enjoy volunteering at the area hospitals with my Dalmatian Sport, as it is very rewarding to give to the patients that are in the, in the hospital and are unable to get home to see their own animals, or some do not even have visitors, and it cheers them up, brings down their blood pressure, and it makes their day, which I thoroughly enjoy giving to them because it's rewarding for me. For Christmas 2010, Caitlin Pollock received a very special gift, Lila. Lila is a black lab puppy on a mission to lend a helping paw. For a little over a year, Caitlin will train Lila to, and to mold her into a leader dog for oh. the blind. Training includes vigorous workouts, such as chasing a frisbee and following very specific commands. Qualifications for leader dogs are strict, including requirements for size and temperament. Lila suffers from allergies and takes eye drops in order to clear her eyes to ensure perfect vision. Lila sports a green and gray uniform within the residential halls while leading the blind. Over the past year, Caitlin has become very attached to Lila and will be sad to have to part ways on November 4th. To help ease the pain of separation, Caitlin will swap Lila for a new puppy to train her as a leader dog. My friend has raised about eight, and I really liked hers, and actually her niece um, is almost a year now, and she's blind, so we both decided we would raise them, and we have another friend on campus who's raising one, too. MSU junior Nick Vanderwell got by with a little help from his friend Toby, a certified guide dog. Nick, who went blind in the sixth grade, has been teamed up with Toby for just over a year now. Before Toby, Nick could make do with Jeff DeCain to help navigate himself around the small town he was from and the community college he attended. When he transferred to MSU, however, he knew it was time to make the step from cane to canine. Toby guides Nick around the streets of East Lansing and steers him away from danger, like oncoming traffic. He's allowed to go quite literally anywhere with Nick. He wears his Do Not Pet Me, I Am Working sign to help control pedestrians' urges to pet the adorable retriever lab mix. It is important for Toby to stay focused and concentrated on his work while his harness is on. But when it comes off, Toby becomes just another normal dog. He's, he's an employee, obviously, when, when the harness is on. At home, I can take him off and he's just like a normal, a normal dog. So, I mean, so right now he's work, but as soon as I take that harness off, he will instantly become a dog.